What's up? It's Kale Anonymous, and welcome to Kingston's Indie Hack. We're here to give you hacks that'll get you started on that creative project you've been waiting to try out. And we'll give you tips and tricks that'll give you pro-level results without all that pro-level equipment and expenses. So today we're gonna tackle photography. So you wanna take amazing photos, but you don't have $10,000 to spend to get an expensive DSLR. That's okay, because I don't either. But we're gonna show you how to get amazing photos from a camera you're probably carrying around every day. A smartphone. Yes, all these photos were taken with an iPhone. As you can see, great photography isn't about having the latest and most expensive camera equipment. With a few simple tips and hacks, you can get some pretty awesome looking photos. And to help us out today, we have professional surf photographer, world traveler, and all around nice guy, Mark DiMolanta. I stumbled upon photography in a quite different way. Initially, I was training to be a physician, and when I finished medical school, I sustained an injury, and while I was rehabbing, photography kind of opened up the door because I didn't know if I could still have the mobility required for, for medicine. So when photography came my way, I just ran with it. As photographers, we're storytellers. We hold the tools to capture life and retell it. You know, we preserve the legacy of human experiences, and I think that's the most important thing. Mark. Kale, good Great to, see you. to meet you. Yeah, so uh, photography. I heard that you actually left a career as a physician to be a photographer. That's correct. I was formerly a physician. I hit a crossroads and I picked up photography and just ran with it. That's incredible. Well, today you're going to help us address one of the most frequently asked questions DIY style. So let's, sure. go, let's go find out how we're going to do that. Okay, so I noticed you got a lot of your professional equipment here. We're not going to use that. I want to know how to do a photo like this without any of that. Well, you need a cell phone. Take something as simple as your picture frame. Remove the image, and we're going to use the sheet glass. And take something like any type of petroleum jelly product, and you're going to smudge a circle into the window, leaving the center portion cleared out where the lens is going to take the photo. So let's take one without first. Sure. All right, cool. We're and in the Instagram, but let's see what else we got. This is purely a hardware technique. No software involved. Keep the smudged portion near your lens and only let the lens peek through the, the cleared out hole. That's and it. photo, nice. That's it. All right, so this next hack is about using some of the functions of your camera already, right? Phones now have a burst mode simply by depressing the shutter release puts the camera in a mode where it'll fire rapidly in succession multiple bursts. And we're gonna track the subject's movement at the same rate and fire off a burst. And what you're gonna get is a motion blur shot where the subject is sharp, but we can blur the background. Let's give it a shot. Yep. A few shots. And with the multiple bursts, you're bound to get at least one good photo. Often you're gonna get several. So we just took a lot of burst photos, so my phone is full. Let's back up some of these photos. Let's use the Mobile Light Wireless G2, save them here, free some space up here, and take some more photos. What do you think? That sounds good. You've got them protected now. Let's go outside and take more photos. All right. The first technique that I want to teach you, it's called rule of thirds. Every cell phone camera has a grid option where you can enable the grid. And the reason why they do that, if you notice, it splits up the field of view into third. Aesthetically, the mind appreciates when an image is off to the side. It never really likes things that are dead center because it creates a lot of dead space. Let's incorporate rule of thirds. Let me take you this way from a different angle, let's say 45 or 60 degrees. Right. And then you put the subject in the third. Because that way you can incorporate more of the background and the subject's just a little bit more pleasing. Just change the field of change view. Change the field of view. Yeah, the take-home right. message is give them a view they've never seen before. All right, so this one's my favorite, Mark. People around the set have been calling it the ultimate selfie. What is it? Well, the ultimate selfie is a better way to take a selfie with a better field of view. Often when you take the standard selfie, your view is too close. And you see the outstretched arm, sometimes there's distortion because the lens is just too close to the subjects involved. Yeah. What the ultimate selfie is, is incorporating some of the features that your cell phone has been clever enough to introduce. By using something as simple as the earphone, you can create a remote trigger release. How is it supposed to stand on its own? You know, I can't reach out. There's a simple thing you could use, a quick makeshift binder clip. Oh. It instantly pr provides uh, does this work? Instant ways to stand your phone. Okay. You want to give that selfie a shot? Yeah, let's try it out. Right. And using the headphone as a shutter release, we can create distance and displace ourselves away from the lens, and it gives it a more pleasing, non-distorted view. And it's as simple as that. Wow. So now you can see what you can do with a few very simple hacks. You can use a few dollars and improve your setup and take some amazing photos. Speaking of which, Mark, how did I do today? Kale, I think you did awesome. And it goes to show if Kale can do it, everyone can do it. 
So Mark, where can we see some more of your work? If you want to follow my work, go to Instagram and look for The Surf Doc. Also, go to allonephilippines.com to follow my blog and my adventures throughout the world. That sounds very cool. So guys, get out there, try out these hacks. It's very easy and fun, so good luck out there. Show me that camera. I want to see what you can do with it. Well, this is a Sony Alpha 99 with a Chrome Zeiss 50mm f1.4. You don't say. Hey, I say it, because you know you need me in New York.